there was a really big fire in, in uh, Stockholm town. Both of the smoke divers have uh, two cameras, I mean one each. Uh, but the, the second one, he was a little bit curious, so he was looking to the right. There was an uh, elevator who was a little bit open, and he was wondering why is that elevator a little bit open. And he thought he saw an arm with a FLIR camera. So in this elevator there was four persons, so actually he saved uh, four persons that day. He did a really good thing. It's so easy to go on the fire instead, but this guy was a little bit curious and he can use the FLIR to locate where the person were. So the main application we use it is for smoke diving. We can use it for a lot of different calls. If we use our imagination, it's good for many things. Like tracking a fire through a roof, or uh, when we search for people, for instance, along a train track or by the water. It's a lot easier to see like that than with our own eyes and a flashlight. We quickly see if there's any shifts in temperature, if there's a living person there. I've been a firefighter for 22 years and uh, I'm working at this station as um, one of the squads. And I'm also uh, one of the instructors for, for the Stockholm's Fire Brigade. We have different tools to get put the fire down. Uh, every, everything from simple hose uh, and to like the spear, spear nails and, and all those. And, and we get them with foam uh, and water and then we change in between the different ones. But then we use the FLIR to, to locate where is the fire. I started in this region um, about a year ago. We use the K55 camera, and we have two in each vehicle, and they're charged in the truck. First, when we start here, we get a pretty rigorous training uh, before we start working in the use of the cameras. The method we use while we smoke dive is we have a team of two people, two smoke divers, and one has got the hose, the water, and one is the, uh, the IR diver. There are a lot of things going in your head when, when there is real action. You get the information from your lieutenant and yourself had to do your, um, all the things around you, and noises, uh, people around, screams, um, the, the stress factor to try to hold it down and then be able to use your equipment and your training. If you are fine with that, it normally goes fine.